I would say don't worry too much about, you know, what other people are doing or, you know, what school um, people are getting into or how prestigious, you know, the schools that are accepting you are. Um, I, I was really bummed out. Um, well, not bummed out, but, you know, there was an aspect of getting admitted to like a school that I didn't even really know about that kind of, um, you know, it, it felt like pressure, um, especially since like my family, they were like, oh, like, you know, if you don't go to X, Y, Z school, you know, is your education even important at this point? Um, and I, I think that's like a lot of pressure. Um, and honestly, I think, you know, something I, I tell like a lot of younger students uh, from my high school was, hey, you know, name someone you admire, like someone you respect a lot or someone who you think is really cool. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they'll name that person. And I'll be like, do you know where they went for college? Mm -hmm. And a lot of times they don't. Um, sometimes they do. But a lot of times they don't. And, you know, I'm like, look, it's if you do your best wherever you go, you, you're going to do good. Um, you know, because it's it's college. And if you don't like it, you can always transfer. Um, you know, you you have a lot of options like that. You know, your one acceptance. Um, getting rejected from like a school or you know, getting accepted, it's just one thing that's going to happen over the span of a very, very long life. And I don't think it's enough to fix everything that's wrong in your life or completely ruin everything that's going on in your life. Um, so I would say to enjoy the ride. Um, but in ac academic wise, I would say um, try to enjoy learning, even if it's something you don't like. Okay. Everyone likes learning, I guess. I mean, if it could be like if you don't like like a particular subject, but the subjects you like, you would enjoy learning, I guess. And I guess you are right. Like you can know too much about what college you got for undergraduation, but you can definitely work for your graduate admission or PhD admission, so like that you can get a better college. I mean, I mean you. I mean, you don't should not think like if I I wasn't like, like admitted into a good into a like IBY college in UG, so I should not try. Like definitely you can try. I mean, afterwards let's see where do we get into right? Yes, I agree. Um, and even then, you know, like to what what standard is it that makes these schools good? Like, is it because like they have a lot of money? Um, you know, there's like a lot of things to think about. Um, yeah, so maybe, just maybe. So like if you go to a good school, you would have good people around you. Like, I mean, maybe like they would be, like they would be passionate, more passionate about what they do. I mean, or like they would like to study, right? Like the people who go to good school. I don't think other things. Maybe you would have good teachers, like in in your school, good maybe you have good financial aid and all but if you have like good friends and like good circle like who are really passionate about so it can th definitely charge you up and like studying together or like doing research together brings up new ideas so it, that is the thing i think about right you would have a good friend circle that is what but like if you know if, if, if you don't get into a good college i mean that the college you dreamed of so you need, I mean, you have to manage yourself and like try for next. Yeah. Yes, but also, um, you know, the college admission process is really crazy. Um, so it it's not all on you as a student if you know you don't get into your dream school. You know. Um, mm -hmm cannot really control so you cannot really very much about you cannot 
very much about selection process and role, but definitely you can try that is what you can do. Most <laughs> definitely. Like, Don't beat yourself up about it. Yeah. So what kind of opportunities opportunities exist for undergraduates to work on research or academic projects with professors? Um so are you asking like um what type of like, so like if you want mm-hmm. yeah, if you want if you have an idea and you want to work on some project like professors would assist you or like yes I mean, most definitely um especially because of the way the the school is like structured around an open curriculum um a lot of of stuff that you might be interested in learning about. Um, you can definitely take control of that. Um, I know a senior um, in the college who is um, whose project is about um, quinceañeras, which are a girl's 15th birthday party in Latin American communities. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, their project is all about that. Um, they're talking about how, like, different being in different regions of the United States um, make different quinceañeras different or like what are the like historical aspects of it um so that's that's in like the aspect of the humanities but in the sciences um yeah you can work on projects with professors if there's like a something you're specifically interested in reaching out to faculty um who might already be doing something similar is a one way you can um, participate in research mm-hmm. So how easy or dip, like how easy is it to find summer jobs or other kind of work through your school? I and think how it act- is. Mm-hmm. And how active is alumni network? Um, I think it's pretty easy. The school has the um, Center for Careers and Life Learning Services, where there's like a career counselor who ask you like what type of stuff you're interested in um if you're looking for an internship or a job um they provide a lot of help okay so it was really nice talking to you about your school and like knowing to you like personally thank you for your time of course take care yeah take good care of yourself goodbye thank you bye Thank